All right, so James Webb Space Telescope. You know, the amount of content that's coming out from James Webb Space Telescope is really amazing. There was a public offering for people, anyone, to submit time, and I believe you can still do so, for the James Webb Space Telescope. And there's, there's really only so much time. And one of the more recent observations that seriously blew my mind is of this latest one. So this actually came out today. We're recording this October 12th. And this picture, it shows shells of cosmic dust created by the interaction of binary stars. And it's truly, truly amazing. So this is the latest image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, it says here in this article by Thaddeus Kasari on NASA, uh, blogs.nasa.gov. The latest image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is a new perspective of the binary star Wolf Riot 140, revealing details and structure in a new light. Astronomer Ryan Lau of NSF's Neuer Lab, principal investigator of the Webb Early Release Science Program that observed the star, shares his thoughts on the observations. He says here, On the night that my team's early release science observations of the dust-forming massive binary star Wolf Riot 140 were taken, I was puzzled by what I saw in the preview images from the mid-infrared infrared instrument. There seemed to be a strange-looking diffraction pattern, and I was worried that it was a visual effect created by the star's extreme brightness. However, as soon as I downloaded the final data, I realized I was not looking at a diffraction pattern, but instead rings of dust, WR40, at least 17 of them. So, it's amazing what infrared, like just another spectrum of light can show us through another telescope, right? Hubble Telescope has made it on so many of our backgrounds and and, and screen savers, and if you're that old, uh, like those images are so iconic for us. And again, it's been in, in active service since the 90s, and James Webb Space Telescope is slowly taking over some of those images. I mean, I know I know the background on ours is literally that early James Webb Space Telescope of Carina Nebula. We'll continue here. He says, I was amazed. Although they resemble rings in the image, the true 3D geometry of those semicircular features is better described as a shell. Those shells of dust are formed each time the stars reach a point in their orbit where they are closest to each other and their stellar winds interact. And then the even spacing between the shells indicates that dust formation events are occurring like clockwork once in each eight-year orbit. In this case, the 17 shells can be counted like tree rings, showing more than 130 years of dust formation. Our confidence in this interpretation of the image was strengthened by comparing our findings to the geometric dust models by Yin-Yu Han, a doctoral student at the University of Cambridge, which showed a near-perfect match to our observations. And so I'll leave this up here. If you guys want to learn more, you can get more into the in-depth stuff. Again, Ryan Lau did an amazing job with this article. It's concise. It's, it's basically a page. Not too much information, but gives you all of the goodness of what's going on in this image. 